So one of the things you definitely want to focus on when you are creating your print on demand t-shirts is to have a list of products that are best sellers and things that are doing well. This will save you so much time when you are trying to create products because you will have a list of high potential products right in front of you. And therefore you are able to strategically create your products based upon data. So in today's video, I'm teach you exactly what I do to find these amazing products so that every time I design something, I'm focusing on a product that is proven to work well. And I'm gonna teach you how to find hundreds of products that you can focus on selling right now in your Etsy shop. I'm sure this all with you coming up next. So welcome back to the video, my friends. You're new here, my name is Jay, and on this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, one of the ways this business can be extremely passive is by using a print provider like Printify. I personally use this for all of my print on demand products as they make it so easy for me just to focus on designing and listing my products and not worry about printing or shipping things out to my customer. Now, they have a ton of different products you can focus on. In my case, I'm just focusing here on T-shirts, but they give you so many options to sell other print on demand products that can do extremely well for your Etsy shop. Now, if you want to check out Printify on your own, I'll make sure I leave all the details in my description box below along with the discount code for you to use their premium version as it saves you a couple dollars every time you purchase a product for your customer and again this helps you increase your profit margins and help you keep more in the long run so i make sure i leave all that detail in the description box below for you to see if this is best for your print on a demand business so now that we are in etsy and one of the main things we want to focus on is to uh, really align up our research for a particular niche in our case today we want to focus on the Mother's Day niche and this is perfect for the season that is coming up. Now, usually when you come to Etsy, you come to the search bar and just put in Mother's Day shirt or some type of thing that is related to Mother's Day. So as we have this broad term, they will give you a ton of listings of things that are showing up for this. And yes, you can go in and find bestsellers and do the normal thing there. But one of the things I like to do is to create a list of bestselling products. So I always have something to look at when I am creating my products for this micro niche. And so yes, from here you can find all the best sellers this way. And this is the manual way of doing it. But I like again to speed up the process and have you know hundreds of things on my list I can learn from, create, and redesign in my own special way. Now the way I do this, I go into the tool Allura and I will search up a particular you know phrase that I want to focus on. I'm gonna actually pick the same one here. I can put Mother's Day shirt, just copy this and swing this over. So it will search Search up, I'm doing the product seeker. It will search up all products that are related to this keyword here. Now, what makes this a little bit different as opposed to just doing this manually on Etsy is that I can actually go down and set the metrics in regards to what it will show me. Now, this is great because I definitely want to have best selling products, but I also want to see the sales volume on those products. Again, not all best sellers are created equally, right? We know from best sellers that you know it is accumulating sales over the last six months. Again, we don't know when those sales were high with the volume it might have been the first month or it may have been in in the last month of that six month time span so by using a tool like this i would have more data in regards to what type of products i really need to focus on because i see which ones have the most sales in the last 30 days and which ones have the most sales in just the lifetime of the listing so now that we have our particular phrase here, let's go down and set our metrics. One of the things I like to do is always set my floor, my bottom number to cap off in total sales at 50. And I want to go down to my bottom sales with monthly and cap off about 20. Now you got to have your metrics set the right way because if you are selling a seasonal item or you're trying to do, do some research for a seasonal item, then obviously the monthly may not be that high as we're not in the season yet. But being that we are coming up to Mother's Day, I know some things are selling extremely well. So I definitely want to see the monthly sales be no lower than 20 units sold per month. I go down a little bit further here and I like to set the age of my listing, the maximum to about 1095, as this would give me the span of the last three years. If you really want to be hyper focused and I would say just look at it in the last you know, year, I would like to put 400 because, again, we're not at the peak of the season yet. So 365 will land us right here in April. But I want to go a little bit beyond that to see what is actually doing well in the next 30 days or so. However you want to do it, the main thing I definitely want to focus on is total sales, bottom floor. 
450 monthly sales of bottom floor 20 and again whatever type of span you want to focus on you can do that here but in our case today i just want to pull up to 95 that gives me a good range for the last three years all right so now that we have all of that criteria in we will go over to the category and just simply select clothing because we don't want any svgs or mugs or different products outside of the t-shirts to show up and we definitely want to focus on this area to see things that are doing well for the mother's day niche so i would simply hit search and what it would do is that it will gather all of the t-shirts that is related to my overall search phrase mother day shirts and it will also make sure it will only show me things that meet my criteria as you can see here everything that's showing up here is a best-selling product how do i know this because that criteria i put in here actually produces best-selling products because again that fits all of my criteria as well as a best sellers criteria so this is what i mean by creating a list of products that are doing well so every time you are creating something you have something to learn from again add or manipulate to your own special way and bring a new design from this so as it is still bringing up different t-shirts here and there are a ton of things to look at i want to give you the breakdown of what data is being revealed to us so we know exactly how to target our time in regards to designing products so we can really maximize our efforts when we are designing these t-shirts so we have the product picture here the first thumbnail image we have obviously the name here and i love how this cuts off because it gives us the first couple words in the beginning of the title as you know etsy puts a lot of weight on the beginning of the title so i love using this for just keywords and how i create my own titles because i definitely want to add in the first couple words that the best sellers have to my own unique design i have the price here which i'm not really worried about because these prices can fluctuate with the amount of sales they have either be daily sales or monthly sales so i'm not really concerned about that i have the age of the listing that can be beneficial to us if we really want to hyper focus our designs to things that are trending right now have monthly sales and again total sales so we know again anything on our list would not go beyond monthly sales to 20 per month bottom floor and total sales nothing lower than 50 sales for the entire lifetime of the product and about using this tool you can see we literally have hundreds of products we can focus on learn from trend merge different design styles and again we have this list where it can be hyper focused in regards to what type of designs we use for our print on demand products all right so i found two different products i want to trend merge and create something new now if you haven't seen any of my videos i always teach you you definitely don't want to copy someone's listing again that would not give you a sale anyway the purpose of this is just to see what is doing well on a massive scale and create something new into the marketplace and so from here i see that this cool aunts club t-shirts doing well sold 117 times again it created about 29 monthly sales again almost seven thousand dollars in revenue here and again i see this not even a year old so i know this would do extremely well for us in the mother's day season but i also found this floral mother retro t-shirt has done well it has sold 180 times again 90 monthly sales this is not even 60 days old and so this is getting a ton of sales here so i want to open this up in etsy and just to confirm some things here again this is a best-selling item i know this is going to do well for the month that's coming up has 10 people in the cart already and again this shirt is a best-selling item and it has 20 plus people in the cart so from here i can see some design things i definitely want to add here again i don't want to copy anything but definitely merge these two things together so i think what we can do here because these things are doing well that means they're showing that people like this i definitely want to keep this floral background here i love how they have the mama in different colors but instead of us just having the same exact design i think we can bring some things over from this design and add some things in i love this phrase cool aunts club i know we can add in cool mama club here but keep the same layout with the floral background in those specific colors for our words and our text so we definitely want to add those things in gather this data and then we want to recreate this right now in canva so now that we are in canva i did create my custom size to be 5000 by 5000 as i know this works well with my overall print on demand products now before i even go and create this listing or this design listing for my product i want to go in here and actually make sure that these product designs are in front of me the entire time because i definitely want to stay true to what they are doing but again add my own unique version to this so one of the things i like to do is right click and simply copy the image here go back to my canva listing and just hit control Control v and plug this in here the purpose for me doing this is so i can always have 
color style, the overall, you know, design of the product in front of me so I can learn from and redesign in my own special way. Same thing here as I go to this shirt, I want to right click, hit copy image, go back to my Canva page here and have this shirt in front of me the entire time so I can stay true to what is visible here. Again, the purpose of this is that these two shirts are selling well or these two designs are selling well. So I don't want to go away from what is working. I want to stay around what's working, but bring something new into this space here. So one of the things I definitely want to bring in here is the text so I can stay true to what I see on my screen. I know this retro style is doing well. And again, just a different variation and colors are doing well also. So one of the things I like to do is just hit T on my main page as this will bring up my text. I can go in here and actually find something that fit this overall retro design. Now I am using Canva Pro as they give me a ton of different things I can utilize in regards to images fonts as well as elements but in my case today i just want to focus on this retro style font design now you are able to upload your own unique fonts if you purchase them from somewhere and i have a couple here i have utilized for different products so i definitely want to add in this retro style here so this is what i want to do this groovy style and again i have this groovy retro style font in front of me now so now I want to work on creating my particular font design and my overall style. So I have my phrase here, cool mama club. Again, we merge the mama that we have here in the cool aunts club and merge that together to create our own unique design here. Now, one of the things I definitely want to do is make sure that this mama is bigger than the cool and the club. And what's cool about using Canva is that they have added some unique features to help our product stand out even more. And one of the features they added was this this outline feature here and so you see that we can actually create an outline to our overall design and I definitely want to stay true with having this particular beige color in the background in regards to how we outline our image I can do that here if I do want to match up this color specifically to what I have here then I can simply go into this color palette again just simply click the color bring in this little area here my little color pick tool is literally hover over that particular color design I want to utilize. And then I can pull that out here if I so choose. But I think in our case today, the particular color that we have can work out well. But again, if you want to find out what that little color is to make this stand out, then we just simply pick that here. And again, we see the color has changed there. If I want to copy that color, I can just hit Control C on the numbers here. I go back into my effects and go to the outline and add in that color here so I know that I am using that same type of style. Now again, we can't see anything here, but if we change our words back to black, then we see that we do have that outline there that's matching the same outline color here for our design. Now, if I do want to change the variations of the colors that I have here, I can just bring up my image and highlight one letter of my word, which is the M. I can go to the color tool and go to the pick tool and just simply highlight over the M and again, as you can see, that would just change the M that we have. I can go over to the A, highlight the A, go into my color wheel here, go to the pick tool and hover over the A here. And again, this is so that I can match the color that I find here on my best selling item. I'll do the same thing for the M here. And again, this is just helping us stay true to what is doing well. Obviously, this is getting a ton of sales. And again, obviously, I want to add some of the same elements here, not copying, you know, exact here, but I definitely want to add in some elements here. I definitely want to head over to this yellow. As you can see here, we have the same colors from the mama here over to our image. But again, we can add in these same type of color variations if we so choose to the cool as well as the club. So one of the things I'm doing here, just adding in that same type of outline to my word cool and to my word club. If I want to see what color my outline is, I can just hover over my design and I see this here has changed. Now, if I do want to go in here and change the thickness of the outline, I can do so here by making it bolder. Or maybe if I want it not to be so strong and just change it here. But I like how we have it. So I'm going to leave it at 50. So if everything is looking good here, one of the things I like to do is just highlight 
all of the text I have here on my screen. I want to go ahead and hit group as this would just create this to be one solid image for me so that I can, you know, make smaller or make larger, but everything will be consistent in regards to the layout that we have created. So now we have merged over the text. We have the mama, the cool aunts club over to our own unique retro style design. But one of the things we definitely want to pull out from this best selling item is this is floral background. Now, obviously it's not going to be the exact flowers from this design here, but again, our design has already changed because we added in this entire phrase, but we definitely want to add in that unique element here with the floral background designs. Let's jump into the elements that Canva has for us to see if we can bring out something new with this floral background design. So for our Canva elements, I went over to the left hand side, just searched up retro flowers. And here are some examples of things that came up for me. And again, I plug these things in, just change the color the same way we did with grabbing the color of the words. I changed the colors to fit the colors that I believe I saw here with the flowers. And again, all these things are matching up well. Now, I just simply group them because I want to move them over to my text that I have. And I just merge my text in a little bit closer so I can fit these flowers in here. All I have to do next is just hit control V. And now I have these flowers coming over on group so now i want to add in these flowers around my design now again i don't want to be exactly how this one is here but i do want to add in these little elements just to follow the trend that we have here with these flowers and again you don't have to be you know extremely bold with these flowers here you can just add these things in around where they fit in and again we definitely want to add in as much as possible but still allow the cool mama to stand out even more all right, so here is the final version of this cool mama club t-shirt as you see here we have the flowers around the side here not as bold as the original design but still adding in that element of the retro flowers now you know once everything is in the right way i love to group all of these elements and fonts together as this will allow me to have one single file here for the image so i know i can make this smaller if i so choose if i want to put this in the pocket of the t-shirt i can do that or i can just make this back large but again everything is moving in the same size so i don't have to be concerned about things getting out of place now one of the things i also like to do is to create two versions because you never know which one would do well so yes i have this one here but i also have one that's a little bit more bold that i have created as well and again utilizing the same type of font design here utilizing the same colors as well as the same retro flowers here again it's always good to have two versions because again you never know which one is going to do well and since you're already working with this phrase the colors and the elements you just might as well utilize what's already on the canvas as this will save you so much time now if you are ready to download your images you will simply go to share head over to download you will select PNG and make sure you select transparent background because we do have two different versions of this design. I definitely want to go in here and select page one and page two, as this will give me these two designs in a transparent background for me to upload to my print provider like Printify, but also utilize on my mockups to showcase this design on my Etsy listing. So now that we have these things here, let's plug these things in to Printify, download them into our mockup and see how this actually look in comparison to the two designs we grabbed from our research phase. All right, so here I am in Printify. As you see here, I have my design uploaded to my t-shirt. If I want to use more colors, I can add it in here. So if I want to add in black, and I have the same design on a black color t-shirt. Again, anything within the little uh, box that we have here is going to fit for our t-shirt to be printed on and again if it's not there then it will not be printed on the t-shirt but again this is what i mean by making it so easy for you to upload these designs to printify and again they take care of all the hard work for you where you really just have to focus on creating your designs and making sure your designs are being seen utilizing etsy and all of the seo tips i teach you in my videos once everything is looking well here i can go ahead and save upload this to my etsy shop and now this design can start making money so now we have our design on our t-shirt mock-up here as you can see this is working out extremely well for us and of course our second version is here as well again this is more bold again you never know which one is going to do well so definitely work on two as you are already working with the font style colors and all those elements but again this looks well also this more tends to 
follow this trend but again we still have that phrase cool aunts club merge over to our style cool mama club so this is what i mean by having that high potential list and going through one by one adding in those designs to your own personal shop again not talking about a copy but doing exactly what i taught you here merging different designs together to create your own unique design that can work well in the se marketplace and with the same file i can upload this to printify and start utilizing this on my se shop where printify would take care of all the printing and shipping for me so as you can see, finding trending items to sell in your Etsy shop is really easy to do. Once you have this list of high converting products, you can always look at when it comes down to creating and designing your next product. And with using Printify, they make it so easy for you to make this business passive as they take care of all the heavy lifting for you in regards to printing and shipping out these products. Now, if you want to check out Printify on your own and get that discount code, I'll make sure I leave all the details in my description box below for you to see if this is best for your print on demand business. Now, the next step you want to focus on is actually getting people to your listing and using keywords is a great way to get organic traffic to your products and start making sales in your Etsy shop. If you want to learn my exact step of how to create the best titles and tags for your Etsy listing, make sure you check out this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, make sure you subscribe to my channel here. So always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.